Hello, Valder. Hello. Yes, hi. And hi. I heard you guys. Yes, Valder is my real name, Valder Beebe. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a problem, no. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Belder BB Show. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. It's my pleasure. You guys are here. I want to let my listening audience know that I'm talking with Aaron Sanford and Amanda Schul, and they're going to bring me information or bring you information about 12 Monkeys because they are the stars. Thank you, guys, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll start with you, Amanda. Uh how did you get attached to the project, 12 Mon Monkeys? I got the script through the very common means my representation gave me the script. But I think from my very first read, I realized that it was a special project, that the character was something like I had never done. And the story matter was obviously something that I had never done anything similar to. So from the get-go, I was hooked. and. It, it, we had to jump through some hoops mm -hmm. to, um, to land these roles, which made it all the sweeter when, when it finally happened. Erin, uh, this is a 20-year-old film. Neither one of you guys look old enough to know about the history. It makes you, makes you <laughs> feel old, but, doesn't it? 20 years. Whew. Yeah, but this is the 20th anniversary next year of the film, and you guys are now playing this in the 21st century. How cool is that? I'd say pretty cool. It Although, has to be. Yeah. It really does. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have? Did you have a prior knowledge of it, or did you know that it even existed? Prior knowledge I'm of serious. The, you of guys look film? so young. Oh yeah, I was a Valor, huge. stop it. Yeah, I was a huge fan. <laughs> you're a charmer. I was, I was a huge fan of uh, of the movie uh, growing up. Um, so it was it was most definitely on my radar. Okay. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you guys knew about it. Yeah. What are you going to bring that's different? Because you know when people are steeped in the cult of a film. Yeah. They are the experts. They are. They are. And, uh, you know, we, we hope to please all of them. I, I, we really want everyone, uh, especially fans of the film, to, uh, to like the show. Uh, the truth is, the, you know, our show is inspired by the film. It's, you know, the source material is the film, but the TV show is, is definitely not the film. You can see that very clearly reflected in, in the casting choices, you know, where they, they made very, very consciously different uh, different choices because they wanted the uh, the show to be its own entity. Um, so there are many elements and aspects of the story uh, that are the same, but there are a, a lot of uh, differences and new twists and turns and areas where we were able to explore elements that the film uh, was only really able to touch on because of, uh, of time constraints. Okay, so let me... Um let me go to you, Amanda. Was it kind of scary doing the film? And the reason why I ask that in the time of Ebola, remember, you guys are going from 2043 because of a disease that eradicated the population, and I'm thinking that's got to be that disease. The, you know, <laughs> so it, it, it's kind of real life sci fi, though. It is. I mean, it, it didn't pass any of us that the material and the subject matter was very timely right now we were all very aware of that and yet at the same time this is uh, a fictional disease and this is an imaginary storyline um, so we were able to understand and respect the proximity I think that our our material sort of plays that makes it so current but at the same time allow our imaginations to build a world that is very different. I mean, we don't know what it will be like in 2043, and Aaron's character spends most of his time there exploring this this undeveloped uh, reality that, that none of us yet understand. Okay. Aaron, as I wrap up, uh, once again, what's going to be different, what's going to be new, and tell, you, tell, me, tell my audience when you want them to watch. Uh, yeah, we're premiering uh, Friday the 16th on the Sci-Fi Channel at 9 o'clock. Um, it's the most important piece of information. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, as I said, the, 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 um, the film is the inspiration for the, for the show, so the basic uh, plot elements are, are the same. You know, it is a future apocalypse. A plague has wiped out most of humanity. Uh, a, a survivor from that time period finds scientists and, and travels back in time. What's different about the show 
it, are things that were only able to be hinted at in the movie, you know, the, the future apocalypse. You only saw very, very interesting, uh, tantalizing pieces of it. And in the show, we're able to explore that uh, much more deeply because we have a lot more time to do it in. Okay, well, Aaron Stanford and Amanda Schul, thank you so much for talking about 12 Monkeys. We will be tuning in, and you got to come back because my people hold me to that, and i got to do a follow-up to see if it's as riveting as you guys make it. Yeah. <laughs> we love to. Yeah. Thank you, Felder. Thank you so very much, and do well. Thank you.